Hey, Toast to Life podcast, most authentic, most organic podcast out here. Yo, Let's yo, yo. go. Man, today me toca el placer to have one of the most popping grupos of LA. Grupo Los Desvelados in the house, baby. Let's go. Gracias, gracias. Yeah, so for the people that don't know and need to understand who you guys are, name by name, your position in the group, so one by one. Uh, me llamo Gabriel, me dicen Filo, toco los Josesto, and I like to party. My name's Caesar, and I play the drums. Hell yeah. Uh, me llamo Frankie, este, I play the bass. Uh, me llamo Cristian, toco el acordeón. I like uh, long walks on the beach. <laughs> and he also we some, likes to party. We, also, we, we have to say that stuff or no? <laughs> well, I think we're making now like our dating app uh, bio, no? A Toast to Life dating app? A Toast to Life. We're just talking about that. We're about to have a speed dating here coming oh, up. Oh, all right. I'm okay with ass play. <laughs> <laughs> any, any kind of ass play, I'm done with it. Perfect. Well, well, well. <laughs> hey, bro, why you get red, Luis? Oh, man, you know, was, <laughs> girls only. All right, now I'm starting to get. You know. Luis, nunca te, nunca te han dado el beso negro. Aquí no mentimos. Aquí no, nunca se miente. <laughs> nunca, like, no, no, no. te agarrado así como te van a cambiar el pañal and just went straight at your ass. <laughs> you sound experienced in this. Ah, te estoy diciendo por otra vez. Te, te cambia la vida, güey. Te cambia oh, la vida. Like a turkey. Yeah. Like a turkey. Sometimes when you don't get it, you get it. You don't. Have, hey, Frankie, you don't have to like explain in full detail. <laughs> no, he was gonna get up and show you. He was like, about to go on the table and show us by. Hey, hey, Luis. So the day that that happened for you, the first time, you seen that meme where like the person like staring off into space and all these equations start popping up. That's what happens here. <laughs> Like the first time it happened. Matter, like, you could you could be like in a shower, like with the shower running in a fetal position, like with the shower running, crying like this in the shower. Either you, or situation. You, you could go your way. I think I it's think, alcohol, bro. I we think, have we have an eight breakfast, and you know you gave us some shots. So. I, I think when that happens, it, you touch heaven. Uh, so All right. Serious, okay. <laughs> but I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. You never felt less than a man when your legs go up. Nah. <laughs> now you're good as long as it's like a you know girl doing it. Oh yeah, yeah it's like, like see, if uh, Frankie doing me and it's like yeah, it's weird, but you know that's kind of like, I don't know. Ya se puso oh, caliente yeah. la cosa oh, like, like, <laughs> <laughs> No, después you. después of how we started it. No, no we haven't that. we haven't had breakfast. You know, no, so. we're just talking about ass later right now. But later on, like it's, give it's us twenty minutes, serious. it's gonna go to fingers. Oh. You know, oh. hey, you gotta you gotta you gotta pass it down. You gotta pass it down right there. <laughs> oh. Ahí están todas, look. You know, the producers back there, directors back there, they're like, bros, we said a toast to life, not get drunk to life, you know? They're like, damn, this is crazy. Pero, for the, the people that don't know, where did you guys all grow up? Straight in, in LA, East Los Angeles, or what areas? Yeah, I, I grew up in Compton. I, I was raised in Compton. Hell yeah. 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 Born and raised in Killer King. <laughs> Caesar? East LA. East LA. I was, uh, in, Ass play? In, uh, <laughs> Mr. Ass play. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, <laughs> you could you put Watts. down there, down there, Mr. Ass play. Uh, <laughs> Watts, California. Watts. Man. So how did, como, como se arregló el grupo? How did you guys come about? How does this work? It, it's crazy because it's, I, I've always said it, I, I believe it's destiny because we're not, we're not related. You know, we we uh, we don't have uh, like parents that know each other's parents. Like, oh, you know, we, we met each other through the through the destiny of life, you know, because uh, I, I met I met Philo by uh, by by his brother. Me and his brother used to work together. And then after that, uh, me and Philo, you know, we decided to, to form the group and then we were missing a drummer. So. I was hanging out in East LA, bar hopping, and I met him at a bar, you know? <laughs> Something straight out of like a Tigres and Norte movie, you know? When yeah. you go into like a bar and you meet your, the rest of your bandmates, that's how I met Caesar. And then this one time, um, our bass player couldn't make it to, to the event where we were going to play. And he happened to be at the event and he was a bass player. And since then on, we like, we continued on. It formed. Yeah, we formed. So is the dynamic that you guys have to have like, how does that work? Understanding? Is it a lot of butting heads? Is it? How did? How does that work? Because 
for a grupo to stay together, especially throughout the fame, throughout the events, throughout mm -hmm. the progress, you know, life changes, money changes, people change. How does it stay together? Um, we well, first of all, we've been together for twelve years now, so it's uh, it's it, it is it is a difficult thing, right? Hell yeah! Because obviously we're males, our testosterone levels are off the roof most of the time, so we do butt heads. <laughs> but this is how I see it: I rather have an argument with these guys for the rest of my life because even though we put another person in our shoes, there's still going to be arguments. So yeah. why not argue together for the rest of our lives? And I think the most important thing is you have to learn how to understand each other, you know, because we some people say like, oh, you guys have to like respect and this. And that. yeah, it, it is respect, is it? But sometimes, you know, sometimes we disrespect each other. And, and, and that's that's how it is. You know, yeah. we're men, especially in the business we're in. You know, we uh, we take in alcohol. We're we're in the biggest thing. The biggest thing, bro, is the adrenaline rush. <laughs> right. The adrenaline rush we receive when yeah. we hit a stage. And all our fans are singing their songs and you get off stage, your, your adrenaline levels are off the roof. You're so hyped up, you know? So there's times where we have like in that moment disrespected each other, you know, but we learn to, we learn to, uh, we learn to understand each other. And I think that that's the main thing to understand <clears throat> what makes him tick, what makes him happy, what makes him tick, what makes him happy. And yeah. just, just can continue. And then most, mostly, I guess our biggest, our biggest, reason for being is because we don't want to let our fans down yeah. because uh, we are a little bit older than the, the majority of the groups. So we kind of grew up in that nostalgic era where if you saw a group and that band member wasn't there anymore, you wouldn't fuck with the group no more, you know? So we, we stay together mainly also because of our fans. We don't want, we don't want them to, you know, be, no, no queremos que tengan una decepción. Like, oh, ya no está este. It doesn't yeah. sound the same. Even if you bring a person that plays better or not, it's yeah. like, it's not the same anymore. You yeah, because they yeah, seen you. Weird. Yeah, they seen it's you just, with this group and then all of a sudden. It's just weird. You, nobody should put up with that kind of shit. Like, mm -hmm. you just, like, you lose a member or somebody and then they just keep the same name. Like, that's not yeah, the same group. Yeah, so. Well, you, we were you, that, you, you were laughing right now. Why are you laughing? You remember in the time or what? <laughs> yeah, that time I came out drunk and then he was drunk and I was playing with him. Yeah, yeah, but it ha it, ha it happens, you know. It, it's it, the first ten fights that are tough. After that, it's, cool. it's yeah. normal. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, right now, right now we're, we're cool because honestly, if there's an issue between us, now we attack it in the moment. Before work, you know, be, before going be, out, be, before yeah, it. before before we used to like take a time, and then the more you prung along it, the worse it gets. So we yeah, just be like, "What's up, Frankie? You want to fight, perro? What's up, perro? Let's get this shit out right now, perro." Like that. Kind of, that's nah, what we mean nah, by like right now, man. What's up, puto? Let's get it, puto. You want to run it, puto? All right. Nah, we talk. We talk. Uh, our group, our group yeah. is the same. Our group is the same. They start we drinking, talk. and all of a sudden, some shit talking starts happening, and it's weird. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's you, you felt who is it? There, okay. Yeah, we grew up in Baldwin Park, so that's had a little bit of Baldwin Park area. Oh, no. Hey, uh, um, Jesus. Walnut Park in the house. He's from Walnut Park, too. Yeah. Walnut. Are, you Are you drinking, too? You can see he's from Walnut Park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big mold. They, they do call him the kingpin of Walnut Park. Jeez. <laughs> pull up the chair. Pull up the chair. Yeah. We're going to give Man. a good story right now, too. <laughs> <laughs> this guy right here, he got stories. stories he for got days. stories for days. He's on Michael Jackson. I'm going to just let you... <laughs> the ghost, the ghost. That's coming about Lady ghost. Gaga, the Lady Gaga story. Lady Gaga story, dude. <laughs> He's like, fuck this. I didn't want to sit down. Man, so. <laughs> Man, so you guys been together 12 years. 12 years. When do you feel you had success or your first sign of success? Um, let, this is a tough question for me because honestly, um, we just grind so hard that sometimes we're just working so hard that we don't see the light of day, you know, because mm -hmm. we have like this tunnel vision. We're just pushing, pushing, pushing. The only day we recognize when we've done something is when some someone tells us, you know, like, hey, bro, by the way, congrats. You did this. You did this. And we just we don't focus on that. You know, we're yeah. just like, boom, boom. We got to get this. We got to do this. We got to do that. And I guess uh, the people tell us. Like we, we don't recognize it because we're just hard workers. That's all we know how to do. You know, we write, yeah. we record, we compose, we hit the stage and uh, not till one person comes up to us and be like, hey, by the way, I really like this. That's when we recognize what what we have done. Yeah. 
And I guess it started a few years back when we were playing at a local club and we started playing one of our original songs and there was a few people that started to sing it. Sing it. And that was like the first time we're like, oh, okay, I think uh, something's going on, you know? Yeah. They're, they're liking our style because at first, when you bring something new to the table, it's a bit embarrassing, you know, because it's something new, you know, it's something people different. Never heard it. Never, ne- never heard, heard it. People want to hear, you know, what other people are singing and, yeah. you know, other other genres or other people's music. So we're like, damn, should we start singing our own songs? And we did. And at first it was it was it was tough, you know, because obviously they weren't vibing it to it. But yeah. then it got to the point where it's like. That's what they were all they're asking was our own original songs. For like new grupos, new musicians, do you think the way to go is to do covers first and then introduce the um, their personal stuff? Well, or well, like what's that dynamic look like? Because obviously mm-hmm. now because of TikTok, right. everybody's an artist, everybody's a musician, everybody's a right. grupo. But the back end stuff and the grind part, not everybody sees. The going to events, gigs, how long their gigs are for. They're calling you, my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll put it on this one so it won't vibrate. Yeah, the uh, the gigs and so no one sees that. You right. guys that are that obviously have your own corridos out there. People are singing that, but at the beginning, like for someone that knew coming out, what's the piece of advice for grupos? I, I see it like this. Obviously, when you do something original, when you do something for the first time, it takes a very long time to stick, right? Yeah. But as soon as it sticks, it sticks. Something that sticks easy falls easy, you know? So, so all I can say is that just try to, obviously, try to hit everything, you know? Because TikTok is more like a place where covers hit, you know? Right. Instagram is a little bit more that stays, stays longer. Yeah. Just see it like this. You could pop off on one video on TikTok today and be forgotten tomorrow, you know? It's, it's very different. TikTok yeah. is, is, not, is not the same, you know? It's so fast paced. It's so fast paced. So, but I mean, we've learned to adapt, you know, so we started uploading covers on TikTok and then on Instagram, we kind of do our like our original stuff. El Chiste and the point is to try to like just hit everything. It doesn't matter if you're doing covers or original and stuff everything. like that. Everything. Don't miss. Yeah, don't miss. And then honestly, my respects to all the musicians that do originals or covers. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Es la camioneta alterada. Camioneta alterada. It's popping out he's, here. Yeah, he's, re- he's repping it on it's purpose, too. He's like, mum, mum, mum. <laughs> my respects to them, because honestly, if you have the courage to play an instrument or or get on stage, like, you're already winning, yeah. you know? It's like, there's a lot of people out there that like to, like, uh, play down on a, on, a, on a performer. Oh, yeah, they're having a great time outside. Yeah, right? We should just go. Let's take this Terramano bottle outside. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, it's all pop up over there. <laughs> <laughs> you're, cuando... When you guys are at eventos, tocadas, what's the adrenaline? How do you guys adapt? How do you guys feed off that energy from your fans, the audience? So at first it does start like very, hey, does that guy, does the guy only rev it when I talk? He doesn't want you to talk. <laughs> well, let's try it out. Uh, 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 Alan, where's Alan? Let's see. <laughs> like, that's crazy, yeah. <laughs> that's dope, though. That's dope, though. Um, we get super nervous at first when we hit the stage, right? When you're about to take those few steps. Yeah. But as soon as the, the notes start, as soon as we start playing, we forget about nervousness because we're just, like, one with the crowd. We are a 100% improvisational group. They don't want you to talk. <laughs> That's dope, huh? Placas de papel. They probably know that we're in here, huh? That's why. Yeah. Like, they posted. Oh, yeah. They're like, they want, we want you to see you guys outside right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, we're one with the crowd. We do an uh, uh, improvisational show. Every night is not the same show because we do feed off the crowd. We have so many original songs, so we don't start with the same song all the time. We don't end with the same song. Oh, shit. We just feed off of what the people tell us, you how know? Many, how many songs propias tienen? Wow. Have you ever counted them? No, I've never counted them. And it's crazy because sometimes we have so many that we forget until, you know, a fan <laughs> throws us like a little napkin and play that one. Like, oh, damn, we, that one's a oh, good hit. That's, yeah, one, that one's a good song, too. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's really cool. Who wrote cool. that one? Oh, shit, it was us. Hey, yeah. Part, even, even though we have like an hour and 30 show, like, we still miss music, you know, like, muchas canciones. Like, una vez nos enojó un cliente de nosotros. He like, you guys didn't play my corrido. Like, fuck, we just, we just, we just totally forgot. Wait, you know? so, pero para la hora y media... 
No, we when need, a, we need like a three hour John show. Probably. At a give or take for yeah, we need a good three hour show to sing all our songs. All right, so when's your break time? Because you know, obviously, there's I've seen <clears throat> I've been around parties where there's some. Group oh yeah, there. well it's different. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and yeah, like in a private event, a private event. Yeah, we have all the time in the world, but like in in venues or or clubs and stuff like that. Yeah, we only have a limited time. Because the big one is Ibiza, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we yeah we played at Ibiza, Pico Rivera Sports Arena, all these stuff, and we just have like limited time. We have 45 minutes, sometimes an hour, yeah. and it's so hard to cram all our repertoire in, in yeah. within one hour. So, como durante la semana, like for you guys, like how does that look like for a grupo that performs at night on the weekends? What does Monday through Thursday look like, or Monday well, through Wednesday? <clears throat> it's it's really busy. Monday Monday through Thursday is it's super busy. First of all, personal life, and then second of all, there's so many things you have to do, you know, because our our work is not the weekend. The weekend is just to reap the rewards of the work that we've done Monday through Thursday. Monday through Thursday is, you know, compose, record, you yeah. know, and all this stuff. Because uh, uh, to be honest, for me, work is not playing. That I don't see that as work. It's for fun. me, performing, it's fun. That's what I love to do. That's what I've been wanting to do since I was three years old. So it doesn't it doesn't affect me in any way to go on stage, sing a song for these people. That, that is not work for me. I'm having the time of my life. That's what I've been wanting to do for the rest of my life. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Work is Monday through Thursday, posting, doing videos, thinking about what's next, do this and that. That's the work. But being on stage, man, I, I love being on stage. It's it's amazing. You know. You said three years old. What about for you guys? Siempre se, like you guys always <clears throat> imagine. Yo creo que todos venimos de, de, de familias de... Me acerca el micrófono. Te quiero oír, güey. Te yo, quiero oír. Yo creo ir. que todos venimos de, de familias así que de los music, you know. Uh, mi dad... He's always had a guitar. He la tiene hasta hasta la fecha. He has an old ass guitar. An accordion too. He has an accordion. Mi papá no es un profesional, pero cuando ahí nomás se le antoja agarrar el acordeón agarrar la guitarra. So that's when I got the guitar. Pero yo me acuerdo desde chiquillo. I have pictures where I'm like, al lado de 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 mi dad, de mis tíos. I used to play in a group. No era un grupo profesional. Era nítido. Nomás se juntaban todos y hacían música, pues. You know? Desde que yo me acuerdo, tengo memoria, pues. Caesar has a good story. Caesar when did you start? Team, uh, I'm a drummer. My dad plays drums, so I always used to go to his shows when I was little. Mm -hmm. So. I grew up around that, you know, instruments, drums, accordions. It, it's same, the same. same type of music or different type of music? Similar, yeah, similar. Yeah, uh, Norteño. Uh, uh, tell the story, uh, your first birthday. <laughs> Obviously, you you don't remember it, but you have pictures about yeah, it. Yeah, when I was like one, apparently I was next to the drums when my dad played the drums because his band played at my party. And I wanted to be next to the drums the whole time, you know. So since I was little, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. he, and he cut his birthday cake with... Uh, yeah, next to the drums. I didn't want to go nowhere else, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All these presents, but I want to be next to the drums. Yeah, he, he sent me oh, a picture yeah. where he was... Uh, they had put the cake, and then he was cutting the cake with a drumstick. Yeah. At one. <laughs> at one. Yeah. It's crazy. Wow. You know, it's, it's in us. It's in us. I have a picture as well when I'm, when I'm three years old, and um, I, I'm on stage... Obviously, we we're just doing playback because, you know, when you're in preschool and kindergarten, they have you do all that that yeah. stuff. Right. So we're on stage and then like people were pretending to be dancing. I had a Tejana on and I had like this pink guitar. It wasn't a real guitar. It was those guitars that you like press yeah, a button and yeah. makes music. <laughs> But I was I already wanted to do that, you know. I've been wanting to do guitar that. Guitar hero style, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Philo, Philo. I mean, he's been in his. Hit. Oh yeah, he has the biggest story of them all, I believe. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> now, my dad, my dad sang mariachi, so he, he used to go sing and he used to teach us how to sing. I didn't really want to, but he wanted to teach us. What, so what was what was the first song you you learned? Uh, it's like mariachi song. You know how they give you pistas? They give uh -huh. pistas and mariachi and then like, you know. Karaoke. Yeah, yes. karaoke. Sing one. Yeah, but I don't remember which one it was. <laughs> I don't remember. But yeah, he used to teach me how to sing. He was gone at night. He was always gone like me, you know. Like he us. Like me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't at home at night, so. Are you guys naturally introverted, extroverted? I like I to be at home. I like to be away from people and like to be home. Yeah, yeah. Respect well, that. honestly, I... I, I <laughs> Preach. <laughs> yeah, I... I um, it's crazy because in my in my personal in my personal like life me yeah. personally like i'm a super shy guy like super shy bro like when i'm at the park with my kids or stuff like that i just don't want to have interactions with other parents or nothing neighbors yeah or neighbors leave me alone neighbors yeah like neighbors <laughs> like i have i have a i have a neighbor that lives in front of me he's super cool his name is ugo but I just wanted to keep him as he is. Like, he's a super cool dude, you know? Yeah. Sometimes when you, like, get too close to neighbors, stuff happens. You know, sometimes he shoots me a text. I shoot him a text back. But we're not, like, uh, like really cool. Like, we've never gone yeah, over so each other's man. houses. But thing, he's, a really, he's a really dope guy, you know? But it's just me personally. Like, in my personal life, I'm really shy. 
I get all red. I get all nervous. When I go when I go pick up my kids at the at school and the other parents try to talk to me like oh, I try to hide I, it's it's crazy it's crazy how how really I am personally I'm 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 like that so would you guys say when you're in your element you show up and show out for your people oh yeah I break out of my shell well, I can play I can play in front of like a hundred thousand people but like a uh, Trader Joe's or like twenty people like gets me fucking nervous like the fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look yeah. I feel like I'm in the way like <laughs> yeah my brother's not lying man he's not lying man like yeah. like we've played at big at big shows yeah. at super big shows right and it doesn't get me nervous but as soon as I'm at a park I'm a park and I'm sitting down at a bench and I see another parent across they and wait. then all of a sudden you know my children are talking to his children and then they're, they're kind of starting looking at me so I can start conversation with them. And I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm, I'm like, I'm like this, dude. I'm like, oh, no, please don't talk to me. Please don't talk to me. And then they go, so uh, how old is she? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's cute. And I was like, oh, man. So a, a question to that, because I feel like it, it may have a similarity. Do you feel that people outside of the element, they will get to the point of, they would want to use you for a certain thing or get something from you, whether it's a picture, whether it's a song, whether it's hook me up. Is it that type or is it more like you want to just separate the business and personal completely away from each well, other? Well, yeah, there's there's all different types of people, but I guess like the people that are that really, really want something from you, they're going to come up to you, right? Yeah. Because also, obviously social media has made it super easy for a person to send a DM and be like, hey, I want to do a collab with you. I want to do this. But it doesn't work like that. You know, it's not just simply sending a message. You got to show work yeah. before you try to work with somebody, you know. But when people come up to us like face to face, I think I take them more serious. And, and, the, and the question of asking for a picture, asking for for uh, like a shout out or stuff like that, we do it and we, and we love it. You know, that's that's yeah. the cool thing. Like we don't deny people like, oh, no, no, I don't take pictures. Yeah. No, we love that. That's why we that's why we do it. I feel know? like you guys you guys are. The people's like gr grupo like oh, you yeah. guys. When I was telling them earlier, I was like. Your suits of the Power Rangers? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We Fuck have it, different man. we have different types of suits. We have Power Ranger suits. We have Jorge Campos suits. Neon suits. We have we yeah, we have neon suits. We have these uh, suits that Philo thought of where it's like old school meets new school. Like it's brand new suits, but it has like cutouts like Chalino Sanchez trajes, you know? Uh, yeah, those are the, the Rancho Milde edition trajes. So every time we take out a Rancho Milde traje, we use that that thing where it's like it's ass. a brand new sparkling traje, but with yeah. like cutouts of if it was an old school traje. So do you guys feel that you guys are the people's grupo, the culture's grupo? Oh, de definitely. Because you know why? Outside of social media, outside of numbers and stuff like that, like I can feel like this real thing. And it's different because... I know now social media with simply buying, you know, yeah. boosting and stuff like that, you can get to these people, but it doesn't mean that those people, yeah, they might press a like or leave a comment, but it doesn't mean that they're going to follow you to the end of the hey, world. Because you, you guys know? do like all the, you would say the hard work, which is go out to the street, promote your event, promote your tickets, promote yeah, your song, everything. all that stuff. Instead of it making it like, oh, let me do a pretty video and sick as edits it's like yo like literally you're just out there singing yeah we're, we're no fuck like we'll get in front of a liquor store and do a video like, <laughs> hey, yeah we do we do, we do stuff and it's and it's cool because when we hit the stage people uh they come up to us and be like yeah you know i really like when you guys yeah. do this and this and that i actually go to that spot i actually go to that liquor store i actually do uh, this yeah. and that's the coolest part i mean uh as of now, we haven't expanded like outside of Los Angeles. You know, we tried some sometimes, but it is really difficult. We want to. Yeah. We really want to. And hopefully like other people can accept us, you know, far away from L.A. But in the meantime, like we're just singing what we know, you know, we're we're not fake. You know, we're not we're not trying to be like this group that sings about places that they've never seen yeah. or touched, you know, so. So we're really we're really about that. We're really about singing. Where where do we live? Where do we eat? What do we do? You know. So hey, maybe life, maybe yeah. maybe we we might not hit like those big arenas outside of Los Angeles, but if if uh, and we I hope so. I hope so. You know. I hope people see this podcast or club owners around the country and just see what we're about. But if it doesn't get to that, man, I love LA. I love my people from LA. You know. Uh, as long yeah. as they hug me to to the day I die, that's all I want. You know. 
Yeah, toast that's, to that. That toast yeah. to that. So we have a special segment on this podcast today where our grupo members are going to read off a DM that they've gotten from fans or people. Oh, yeah. Fido was going to start off. You wanted to start it off? I, I, just, I just get tags. It's cool. <laughs> I get tired. Bro. Okay. Literally, I have been waiting for you to respond back to me. I was thinking to go into Cali on March 15th. I'll be out there for spring break. I want to go see you perform, but my manager doesn't let me. I have to work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, quit your right, job. Right, right, right. My turn. My turn. This is Kyle Kawamas Papa Gabi in Southgate. <laughs> Southgate, where you at? Open one up. Because I have a really 1042 good one, last night. Kyle Southgate. <laughs> Pull up. Are they still awake? <laughs> Sound good. <laughs> My phone died, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You were prepared for this segment. <laughs> no, I don't have. Um... <laughs> okay, I, I, I got one. All right. Uh, he goes, hey, I'm going to Pico Rivera on the 16th when you guys are going to play. I wanted to know if I can take a picture with you guys because I love your music oh. and it's my birthday. The same day, uh, the same day. I'm not lying. I can show you. It would be the best birthday gift. And then I answered, bro, it would be our pleasure to take a picture with you. And he put, OMG, you responded. <laughs> Thanks. Is there any way I can get in contact? How can I be able to take a picture with you that day? And then, the, and, and then from then on, the, the Stan song came out. Hey, Stan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but honestly, man, the reason why we we respond to all the texts is because we were fans first, you know. Before yeah. who we are, who we are, we were fans, and and I, and the sucky part is that the day that we do get to collab with like super famous people and they finally open up their DMs, they're gonna see like this big <laughs> like thing where it's like, "Congrats, Felicidad, viejo, que chingón," and all this stuff, and they're gonna open it up and see how long that we've been like supporting them for, you know. Yeah. So. We just love to make people's day. Yeah, if, you have a, if you're a fan of somebody, you send them a message and they don't respond, like, stop being a fucking fan of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's yeah. fancy. He's on a plane. He's fancy. Fuck that. <laughs> stop fucking following these people that don't give a fuck about, about you. you. Yeah, you're right. Fuck with whoever fucks with you. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So, easy, so easy. That's yeah. real facts. Yeah, that's no, real no, that's facts. real facts. So because how, how stupid are you going to look when you're trying to beg somebody for attention and you've been supporting them blindly, mm -hmm. and then when you get finally get that opportunity, they're like, "Not right now." Oh. It, 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 hap it happened to us. That's why we are who we are. And, and mm. thankfully, I believe, I believe life, I believe God has has shown us how not to be. You know, because we we've been denied so many times. Some people speak about failure, but I think failure is the greatest gift uh, God can give you. You know, because you learn how not to be. You learn, you learn how to be, you know? So I think uh, through, our, through our 12 years, we have failed so many times. We try to get together with other, you know, famous musicians so many times. We've met famous musicians so many times. There's so much. Our path has been filled with nothing but failure, bro. And I think that's the biggest gift I think you've been received. Like you, you said, know? we've been following each other on Instagram for a while, and I've seen you post that. Yeah. You know, your failures, the hiccups, the, yeah. even when you give the – the lie to the people that have been negative and oh, hate on you. Yeah, yeah. It's like, all right, well, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the the clown to have his little moment that he wanted, yeah. right? Because I feel like when someone comments on whatever post, whatever video, they say they just want to be heard. No cualquier mamada, no más right. quieren que los escuchen, que los right. miren, que le pongan atención. But it's like, if you're not, if you don't have haters in something, then you're not doing something right. Right, right. You know, right, right. people are hating why? Because whether I want to be in your position, I want to be where you're at. Obviously, you guys are signed to like a major label that, again, a lot of you guys are around a lot of people that are talented. Yeah, yeah, a lot of competition definitely. that's out there. Oh, there's so a it's lot like, of competition. what it's makes tough. you different? What makes you that grupo? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, if that makes you different too, then <laughs> that's your talent, hidden talent. But what do you think makes you guys different? Um, I think what makes us us different is that. Uh, we're not we're not afraid to to show who we are and, and what we're about. You know, um, sometimes uh, people in the industry, uh, they get like, um, you know, they get manipulated by managers, by people out in their circle and be like, hey, you have to do this. You have to dress like this and you have to do this. And us, we do whatever we want, man. Yeah. You know, we do it. We, and we sing whatever we want. You know, we dress however we want on stage. We respect the stage so much. You know, we wear yeah. all these crazy things, you know. 
Like, it's crazy because sometimes they're like, damn, hey, are those the Power Rangers people? Sometimes people are trying to clown okay. on us. But we're proud, bro. I, I grew up looking at the Power Rangers. And then okay. when, when they see how they respond, immediately it's a level of respect. Because yeah, I see your sweater, too. You know? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he recently died. You yeah. know, the creator of Dragon Ball Z. And, and I even uh, dedicated a little post, obviously. It's, it, it's, it's really sad because... I, I learned a lot from those cartoons, you know? That show was crazy. A lot of life lessons. In yeah, a lot of life life. lessons because, look, dude, Goku was the strongest being first in the planet, right? And then in the universe and then in the multi-universe. Even though he was the strongest being, he was the most humblest of, of all of them, of all of them. Because yeah. he always fought against people that were not humbled, but they got humbled by him, you know? And always, and, and that was one of the biggest life lessons, like... Goku is the shit, and he didn't act like he was, you know. And right. I guess be, be, uh, in those cartoons, you know, I think that's that's the, that's the main purpose that he tried to show us in Goku. Like, yeah. hey, it doesn't matter if you're like this big, big thing. Just remain humble, you yeah. know, and the world will come will come to you through your humbleness, you know. And, and I love Dragon Ball Z. I, I so, some some of the uh, I'm not gonna lie, but some of the the way that I act is because look, okay, I wanted to say, and it's cool because I wanted to say this. Check this out. Oh man, yeah, check this. Oh, oh yeah, I, I was hey bro, I was in I was in my I was in my boxers inside my room like this, like you know. I was doing the spirit bomb, y, y todo ese pedo, you know, by Fusion. myself. Oh, for sure. But check this, check this out, brother. He likes Dragon Ball Z, and I like Dragon my balls. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of that. So, 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 check this out, man. Um, <laughs> I'm emotional right now. Right? Drugs, alcohol, fame, all this stuff is giving me like a really emotional. <laughs> <laughs> so check it out. So, um, I see, I see it like this, bro. <laughs> Real, my right? balls. If I start crying and shit, just you know. Just, just know what it just is. Cut that out. Would you cut it out? <laughs> now, why would you cut out the crying part? Because it's like you know, it's a it's a good thing. It's a release. It is, but people, you know, they see it and they just don't really judge. Yeah, but I've thing. always said something. <laughs> I, <laughs> not that part. I've always said something. If I if I'm able to say it myself, there's nothing nobody else can say that that's gonna will. affect me. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, oh, I cry. There's it. Food. Okay, yeah, cool. Right, I said cool. it myself. Good. Yeah, yeah. And that was bien. Yeah, yeah. And then going back to, uh, <laughs> going back to, it's crazy because um, I'm pretty sure a lot of kids that grew up the way I grew up, you know, because my my parents were not from here, you know, so both of my parents had to work. Yeah. I, I would I would get out of school and I would go to home, and then my my parents at home while they while they would come. Back home, it would be Dragon Ball Z, you know. It would be Barney. It would be uh, Caillou. It would be it would be uh, Reading Rainbow. It would be Mister Rogers. <laughs> so it's like we, we we come we come from that. Vinimos de esa gente mexicana que no le daba no le daba miedo dejar a sus hijos solos en la casa mientras trabajaban. Todo más cierra la puerta. Yeah, exactly. You know, so <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, I took a, I'm not gonna lie. I took a lot of life lessons from cartoons. You know, Fuck yeah, Yu Gi Oh, Digimon yeah, from, every, from everything. You know, yeah. All right, so some people had. Some questions for you guys today. Oh yeah, yeah. we're oh, kind of little go. speed round, kind of little speed round. Go. What was the longest you guys had a tocada for? Longest you played for? Um, yeah, it was. I think it was like twenty four hours. We played for twenty four hours. Like a sun to sun. Yeah, sun to sun. It, it it was tough. What city? Uh, we it was a weekend. We were playing for somebody out there, and it, what's it called up there? It's like the Dunes by Mexicali. Glamis. Glamis. Oh, in Glamis, yeah. yeah. Glamis. Y pa donde vas a agarrar, compa? You know? It's not like, hey, we got I, I gotta go home. No, you're four hours away from home. You're gonna stay here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. Yeah. The wildest tocada you guys had. Sure, um, mm -hmm. many because we have uh obviously every weekend we we play for different people and there's and there's uh different situations, you know? There there there's there there's been a lot. She there's been a lot. Um I think each of us can can say one, no? We can all we can all tell a different one. Oh, oh, right, you started. Mm. Sheesh. What can we, it's because there's a bunch. A lot. The, one that, the one that comes to mind. First one. Oh, oh yeah, well, the, the, clo the, close, the closest one was uh, we, were playing at a, we were playing at a party, right? And everything was well. We, we, we were four hours in. Everything was cool. But then um, they started bringing NOS tanks, right? 
So as soon as they started nausing it, well, obviously for whatever types of minutes you're 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 not you're not you, you know, you're yeah. out or whatever. And the majority of the people that were nausing it, they they had weapons on them, you know. Oh shit! So this one guy pulls up next to uh, next to us, and he happened to stand next to my brother. So at the moment he wasn't he wasn't. I've never done nas before, so I don't know how it how it how you zone out or whatever. That's but tough. the but the dude was like standing next to my brother, and he had a he had an AR. Next to him like this. And I don't know. He was on down. He just like, boom. He just, he just shot it. He Dug shot the floor it. Cement. Yeah. He, and the warehouse where we were playing, it was all made out of cement. The whole Jeez. warehouse. Oh. So you could just hear it go. Pew, 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 pew. I was like, yeah, we took off our instruments. I took off my shirt. I remember. And I was like, I've, I've never got shot before. But um, like, I was, I don't know how I was supposed to feel. Cause you could just hear it like ricochet everywhere. It's not like it was going to go through the ground. And, and, and then, um, <laughs> the bullet hit three inches from my brother's foot because my brother he was standing like this and he showed us and it, it was like the big concrete hole right there and it was like God like damn. three inches away from my brother's foot God and damn. that's just that's just one of them it, it, it happens you know and yeah. after that we stopped playing we're like come on man you know you can't you can't yeah, be, be doing, doing that yeah, jeopardy so, bro. yeah so we just we just bounced off yeah. you know what about you guys what's a what's one that you guys thought I don't know. Cuando estamos en Wasabi y levantaron a las dos personas enfrente de nosotros, puedo decir. Eso fue crazy, bro. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, we were went. We're chilling outside and llegó una troca y se levantaron dos, 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 dos encapuchados así de la, de la cajuela. Boom. Eh, hey, ustedes dos para acá. Fómonos. And I started walking. I remember I started walking inside the house. Eh, hey, tú flaco, párate. I'm like, God damn, valimos, güey. <laughs> God damn. Levantaron a dos personas enfrente de nosotros. Do some shit I've never seen. Jesus, what about you guys? So I remember one time we were playing at a party, and then we had another party after. And when we got to the party, the girl that had uh, that had uh, hired us, she was laying dead in front of the yard. Oh, oh man. fuck! She had just got shot, like maybe like Two twenty, minutes before. like twenty, ten minutes, twenty minutes before we got there. Yeah, brother. God damn. So yeah. we, we can tell this story, but we just want to first of all say respects yeah, to respects her, respect, uh, respect, 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 yeah. respects to the family. Um, uh, this this thought, girl just wanted to celebrate her birthday party, bro. She yeah. just, that's all she wanted to do. Wow. And we had a, we had an event before, right? We were playing at another house and it's just cosas del destino. Como paso todo, compa. It's weird. So we were, we were playing at a house, right? And then we were about to end so we can go over to her because she, she had a group before us. So it's not like she was waiting for us to, to party. She already had her, she wanted to have, After. she wanted to have the biggest party of her life and she was going to have like a bunch of groups, right? So, yeah. uh, so we were playing at, a, at another house and then another group was playing for her. So we were about to end on the, the first job site. And then I get a message from um, one manager. of the group members, the manager from the other group. He's like, hey, bro, sorry to tell you, but we actually started like about an hour and a half late. So we're going to push the, the times up. Right. And then the guy at the event where we were playing, he told me, hey, is it all right if you guys play another hour? And I'm like, yeah, we, we actually can. So we ended up playing. <laughs> it's probably her. <laughs> uh, este, we ended up playing. Um, Michael Jackson spirit. We we ended up playing one more one more hour, right? We ended up playing one more hour. Yeah. And then um, we were done. You know, everybody was uploading all the equipment to the van. Bro, the van didn't want to turn on. They didn't want to get reverse or some shit. No, no, que Yeah, the switch, the switch, like you would like, you would like. Uh, yeah, right. Like no, no quería. Like randomly, we couldn't reverse, bro. I think, or some shit. We couldn't. Yeah, like oh, it, it, it didn't, it didn't want to go, bro. It didn't oh, want to go. That's crazy. Like it just didn't want to go. It just started like lining up. Yeah, yeah, like, like it, it shouldn't go. Pero si hubiéramos llegado un poquito más temprano, and the guy yeah, so the, van, the van, but, the van didn't want to yeah. go, bro. It didn't want to go, and then yeah. we were stuck there for like I don't know a 30, few, minutes. Minutes. yeah, thirty minutes trying to make this van work, and then all of a sudden, dude, out of nowhere, boom, it, you know, it worked, yeah. and we went there. When we went there. We were we were on the corner like this, and the cops just had arrived. They just had arrived. And we we looked like this, and we could see someone like laying on the driveway, and it was the birthday girl, bro. That's crazy. And my respects to her. She was a she was a, a really a life of the party loving person, you know. And she didn't deserve what what had happened to her. She her kids. You know. And Dang, yeah. So I just want to give her her respects, you know, before yeah, we talk about that situation. Man, yes, sir. But I mean, that's that. That's how it is, especially in the cities that we live in. You know, it was in Compton. You know, the lifestyle that we live in. Sadly, that that's how it is. You know, there's a lot of people out there that 
that don't know respect, you know, yeah. or they weren't taught respect, you know. Mejor ese tiempo que we, you know, batallamos. I mean, it saved probably one of our lives, you know, one of the guys' lives. Que ellos bajan el sonido and stuff, you know. Yeah. Like, it's just crazy como todo. It, it just happened now. Like, damn, dude, a couple minutes before he, it would have probably been one of us, you know. Yeah. O algo. All right. Another one that they asked was corridos o norteñas. Oh, that's cool. So check it out. I think we did an event, huh, Philo? So uh, respects to our brothers that that play that type of music. We actually did songs with. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> we actually did songs with Abrio uh, Norteño. We really love that style. It's music. It's Mexican music. It's yeah. amazing, you know. And we did a couple of events that they were called like corridos versus uh, norteños. norteños. Yeah, pero nosotros yeah. somos pues, corridos, puro compa. Corrido. You know, puro corridos. All right. Uh, Bucanas or tequila? And if tequila, which one? Want to answer that one, Sila? Oh, Frank is an expert. There's a tequila that's called Mandala. I don't know if people have, uh, people have tried it. Mandala is a really good tequila. I feel like I've heard that one before. Oh, that's, oh my God, uh, bro. That's delicious that's a, tequila. That's weird. That's a, I would I would have, I would have, I would assume you guys would have said Don Julio 70. No, it's because, look, there's there's tequilas that you can, uh, that are really good mixed tequilas. Correct. And then there's tequilas that you can, like, sip Solas. on ice. Yeah. You know? And Mandala. Is, is Mandala is one of those que está ahí anyway. Have you guys tried Siete Leguas? Uh, we yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we're we're alcoholics, so we. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty sure play, we're drunk. Uh, we're pretty sure we tried it. What is it? All right. So if you guys can be a Power Ranger, what color would you be? The green, the green ranger. <laughs> but do we all have our colors, no? Yeah. Black one. Got the red one. The blue one. That's so tall. All right. What genre of music maybe no one expects you to like or listen to? Oh, well, last last night. I uh, seen yeah, it. Yeah, so look. I was, having <laughs> I, dinner, seen it. I was having dinner with my family, right? And... Um, there's nothing wrong with listening to uh, other genres, you know. Even though we're we're uh, we're like we're sort of, of of pioneers in the style that we compose, which Correct. is like street, right? Correct. It's like street rap cross pa collabs, calles, pa with calles. the corridos, yes, you know. Sir. So I believe we're pioneers in that, or one of the pioneers. You know, I don't want to exclude people that are doing the same thing that we're doing. Yeah. But man, I, I, I love to listen to other music. What were you, know? what were you singing and yesterday? I was I was uh, singing uh, Bill Withers. He's one of my uh, favorite artists. ¿Cuál, cuál canción estabas cantando, güey? Estaba sí. cantando la de There's no sunshine when she's gone. So I was I was at a restaurant and there was this uh, there was this amazing artist singing. You know, thankfully they this restaurant had live music, and uh, you know I was just having dinner and I, I guess she could see that I was like moving my lips, right? Yeah. And then she came over to the table and she was singing. And then, boom, she gives me the microphone. And I was yeah. like, man, I know this song. I can sing this song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm show you up. So I, I had a great time, you know? Yeah. I, love, I love to listen to all types of music. For, I mean, everybody does here, too. Like, yeah, what kind, of, what kind of music oh, yeah, yeah. that people wouldn't expect you guys to like? A mí me gusta mucho la norteña with sax, bro. Yo creo que es musicalmente bien. It's really clean. It's really nice. I don't know how to explain it, pero me gusta más que, pues, I mean, I'm a, I'm a person. I play bass. So when I hear these groups, el bass is como algo que resalta en esos... Yeah. En esos grupos, pues, oh, el bajo. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I like, Norteña, I like rock en español. Me gusta un chingo el rock en español. I'm a yeah, big yeah. fan of Maná and shit. Well, I'm a huge fan of mariachi music. Mm -hmm. I actually play mariachi bass. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> mariachi, yeah. <laughs> That's how I met him, bro. So I, I went to a cantina, and uh, he actually had a guitarrón on him. And, and I had my accordion in the car, and we played a couple of songs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so at the end yeah. of the, yeah, at the end of the night, I was like, "Hey, so what do you do? You playing a mariachi?" And he's like, "No, dude, I play drums." I was like, "Bro, we need a drummer." <laughs> <laughs> hey, like co figure, huh? Yeah. What about you? Uh, alternative, I like Morrissey, yeah. I like The Cure and stuff like that. Depeche Mode. Damn, hell yeah! All Not right, crew. Dream, <laughs> dream collab, dead or alive? Ooh. Let's start, let's start with, uh, Philo, start start with Philo, cause, right, ahead, uh, no, I gotta think of my, yeah, yeah, me yeah, too. The, the, I'll do it, I'll do it, uh, uh, Joan Sebastian, viejo. Really good. Hey, Joan Sebastian, god damn, bro, yeah. la neta. Escucho, escucho esa música, and I'm like, fuck, ¿Cuál, cuál canción le dedicas a la, a la muchacha, güey? Fuck, no. <laughs> la que le gusta a Frankie, la que dice, me contaron de, Ruli, de Romeo y Julieta, <laughs> y pensé, <laughs> qué hermoso <laughs> cuento. <laughs> That's what you like, uh, <laughs> Invítame un cigarro, that's a nice song. Dude. Oh, that was oh. a nice song. Yeah, it's nice. a little with somebody, right? Uh, I don't, I don't think that one. See? I, th I think they did a CD, you no, know, with yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, that was nice. But well, I mean, el viejo man. Yeah. What about you guys? Silo? Dead or alive? Uh, Los Bukis. Oh, oh yeah. 
It's a good one. I Mookie is go Chris. Ah, uh, it's because nah, you know right? the reason why Philo is pouring over here is because I'm gonna take out like this big list and let me explain why <laughs> I like this or not. If you can't keep it to one, keep it to two. I buy your bus. Yeah, I let them. Go. Dead or alive. Oh, ya sé cuál vas a decir. Ah, quién voy a decir? <laughs> no, it's because I have. Sergio. It's because yeah, I I I I base myself on uh, uh, all these amazing iconic artists that are yeah. not here with us. You know, yeah. I like to I like to look at their performances. I study them. I do a lot of stuff. So I'm a big fan. There's just so many artists that, off the top of my head, like they just like boom. They, just, right. they just they just come. I'm gonna count down up. from three to one. You gotta say your name. Okay, yeah, uh, Sergio Vega. There you go. Juan Gabriel. <laughs> no, but check it out, Juan Gabriel. My respects, brother. We were playing for some good clients of ours, and and uh, he wanted some Juan Gabriel songs, right? So uh, we we do have a really good vocal range in the group. Everybody sings really high notes. We sing, we we sing. Um, yeah, we have a good vocal range. So all right, Juan Gabriel. Like, where, where so we we're at? like, so what song? Like, what so song? Like, so like we no, but this is this is how we got humbled down by Juan Gabriel. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so check it out. It, you know, even from death, he's he's humbling us down. His vocal range is supernatural, insane, supernatural, bro. Like his his pitch is so high. No le but yeah, that's the that's look. You could sing. A lot of people can sing. Can catch up to his vocal range to to the way the 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 notes that he hits. But you can tell in their faces that they're struggling. Yeah. You know, he did it so gracefully. That's when you know it's supernatural. When you see, when 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 some when something's easy to him, you know, yeah, when facts. he would grab the mic and he would walk around so gracefully and sing these super high notes like it was nothing. Yeah, that man was supernatural, man. Yeah. Yeah. Noah Noah is one of the most difficult songs. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult because it goes like. Como, Ay, como, how, how does it how does it sound? Quieras tú. Quieras tú. You know, like it's so amazing. What we, we we actually performed that song for that client of ours, you know? So we had to drop it down a couple of notes because in the original, in the original, it was like, wow, it was so high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the that's the that's the easy part. That's the easy part. The hardest part is the the verses, the begin oh, the beginning. Yeah, cuando entra, like you you know how amazing this guy was, you know? Wow, hell yeah. Yeah. All Super right. dope. <clears throat> I don't. I don't say. I can't think of anything. I just. Yeah, Philo. Philo grew up. Or uh, he actually grew up around a lot of super famous yeah, people. Like a, he grew up um, around Chalino. He grew up around Lalo El Gallo, Lombardo, Lombardo y Guerra. Like mm. so many, los hermanos de, de la banda del carro rojo. Like he grew up. Uh, you know. So, what what uh, canción is like off? Like resonates with you off the top of your head? It's just a lot. It's just so many songs, bro. Just like in my head, just like. Okay, so so I'm, let, let me tell you a backstory so you can understand. Uh, Filo's father was the MC of El Parral. So when you listen to Chalino Sanchez tapes and you can hear a voice presenting him on stage, that was, was that? his father. Yeah. So when you listen, so you listen to Lalo El Gallo, Valentin Lizalde's dad wow. live tapes. Saul he's Viera like también, no? Saul Viera, Jorge Gamboa. When they when you listen to their live the, tapes and you hear that voice at the shit. beginning, con ustedes caballeros yeah, yeah, yeah. y señores. You know, Chalino Sanchez, Sanchez. That was his father, you know? So so he grew up around Man, all that stuff, you know? He grew up wild. Around, yeah, so, I mean. It's a wild range. It's a really, it's a really tough question for us because we're like music geeks as well. Right. <laughs> we're, we're, a big, we're a big team on Manifestation. So artists right now in the industry that you guys would want to collab with or a grupo? Uh, I would want to collab with uh, Javi. I believe Javi is a, uh, he's a, uh, He's a he's an artist that I believe he's gonna stick around for a very long time, just how how he's so graceful and then he just uh, not not only verbally or vocally but like uh, physically too, yeah. the way he expresses himself. He's not afraid of, of oh, nobody. man. His life experience you too, know, a yeah. near death. And yeah, he just, he's changing. not afraid to show who he is and and especially in the genre that we play, I think that's one of the biggest things to break out of using different colors, using. Uh, using your body to like move around, you know, especially the, the, the style of music we play. I think, I think he, he, he's broken. He's broken all that, you know? All right. And one second to last question, how does it feel to be signed to a label like Rancho Mil that, that has had as much success as it's had? Uh, definitely. It's a, it's a, it's a really tough, it's really tough to be in a label. The, the work is three to four times harder than it is to be independent, you know? 
And then especially because you have some heavy hitters in the same label. Fuck yeah. What's going on? From drinks? I think he's making drinks. Hell yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> so so it's a it's a it's it's a tough it's a tough it's a tough place to be at. Yeah. A lot of people think that signing it's like, oh, you know, they're gonna grab me by the hand and we're gonna hit and this is it. Like, yeah. no, there's you have to be mentally prepared to being brought up to the sky yeah. and let let go. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like everybody thinks that once you get signed to somewhere, it's hard. You made it. Nope. Work is done. Everything else is gonna no, come it's, it's to your feet, to your doorstep, and and us. I think a yeah, lot of people have failed with that, with that mind thinking. You know, it's, 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 uh, it, it, it's harder, and I think we we were also affected by it. Me personally, I was affected by it because last year we were working so hard, brother. We were we were working rigorously, yeah. composing new music, doing this, doing shows, recaps, like. I am not going to talk bad about the label that I'm in, but I'm just going to say that we were we are some hard working motherfuckers that still don't get recognized, you know? Like we're 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 so hard workers. So last year we were working so hard to get on a tour called Lo Mejor de las Calles. Really hard, bro. Really hard. We we were posting, we were doing this, we were our our our, our videos, you know, and the, our venues, we were selling out venues like Crazy. there was just Seen no it. way there was just no way that we 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 Could've, we didn't we were not get, being it, it was it was a uh, I'm working way too hard to be denied. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. it's like we were working so hard and and I'm just talking to you like a man, you know. Yeah. Maybe someone from the label is going to see this, but I'm just telling it how it is. I'm telling it from my chest and I think we all have that freedom of speech, you know, to say to say things like have that. Have to. Yeah, yeah. And and honestly, um, when the when the flyer came out and we were not on the flyer on that tour, I didn't even touch my phone, bro. I went inside my room. I locked the door. I, I fell to my knees and I just said and I just told myself, like, that's crazy, man. That's crazy how how hard I work for this and, and not and not get it. You know, yeah. it took it took me a while to get back up. But, you know, I, rec I recuperated right now. I'm, I'm mentally way better and I'm and I'm ready. Like I said, it, it's, it's not an easy task to be in a label, yeah. especially when, you know, there's a lot of groups and they're they're all trying to get to the same goal. Yeah, and I respect yeah. everybody, you know, not everybody's going to get to the same to the same goal. So, so I guess the hardest part to being in a label is you got to have the balls when you drop, when you fall. When you don't get what you want, when you don't get when you don't get what you deserve, you know, and it happens to everybody, you know. Yeah. So it was it was really it was really tough for me. It was really yeah. tough for everybody, you know. But right now we're back on track. We're doing it again. And this time, if it happens to us again, you know, if we don't get on the big tours again, you know, it's all right. We already felt we already experienced it, but we can't let the group drop, you know. Yeah. We can't let oh, yeah. we, we see ourselves. We see ourselves as a as a forever thing, you know, so. So um, that's all I say. I mean, currently, yeah. I, I really I really respect the label that we're in, you know, the level that they have brought us to, you know, but I just really wish that they can see that that they have someone yeah. at the current moment, someone in their in their in their team, someone in, that is ready to like, like break like, sweat and blood. Give me the shot. To, give me the yeah, shot. Man. Yeah. yeah. You know? It's like um, I always say. You counted me out, but I count myself in. Oh, well, yeah. So oh, yeah. Give me, happens. So oh, give me an opportunity. Cool. And if you don't, still cool. Because yeah, I know I'm going to cool. bring you to the table. Yeah, we're yeah. Still we, we, music, we, still, yeah. we still bring music. Yeah, we're still doing this. I think, and, and before we take our little break, but it's like, you guys are showing up, showing out, and you're leaving nothing on the table to be denied. Uh, yeah. to, to be like, nah, I don't know if they're worthy. No, 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 no. We're putting everything on there. It You make your judgment, which you're entitled to. Yeah. But we know when we go home and we walk away from it, we know, hey, there was nothing more we could do. Yeah, yeah. Right? Definitely. It's like um, it's like in a soccer game where el, los jefes juegan y todo. Y al fin, ah, si hubiéramos echado it. No, no, no. Now no, it's like, no, now no. we left it on the table. Que lo ya no existe, el no, and then, and then you know what? This week I have my I have my grandpa in my mind because uh, he, he passed away a few years ago. Yeah. But uh, for some reason this week, like he's been with me, like in my thoughts, oh. like every day. And um, it all happened because um, um, <laughs> uh, I, we went to go pick up one of my cars that I had I had left at a parking lot, and uh, I uh, I had I had trash and I and I threw it to the trash can and it didn't make it to the trash can. And as soon as that happened, it it, rem it reminded me the reason why I work as hard as I do is because a long time ago my grandpa told me this, and I was in the kitchen, I had finished eating, and I had grabbed the napkin and I. I wipe, I wipe my hands, right? Yeah. Keep in mind, my grandpa was right there looking at me the whole time. 
I get the napkin. I fold it and I try to do it, Kobe. <laughs> I tossed yeah. it. I didn't make it. I got up and I was walking towards the trash can. I grabbed the napkin and I threw it to the trash. My grandpa was looking at me the whole time. He didn't say one word. He didn't say anything. He was just staring at me. He was just oh. like observing what I was doing. Yeah. And when I sat down, he told me, El huevón trabaja dos veces. Yep. He told me that. And that was one of the biggest life lessons I could have learned. And it, it was so simple because since then, that day on, I don't do things twice. I do them once because you have to do them right once, you know? And, and that's what my grandpa taught me. You know, he's not with us anymore. He was the nicest human being ever. Um, I think my bandmates shared a lot of moments with, with my grandpa, Alfredo. Borreguito. The nicest man. And um, he taught me that, you know? Don't, don't do things twice. Do them once and do it well, you know? And uh, I have him with me this whole week. <laughs> Toast alive, boys. Nice. Toast alive, Luis. Gracias. Thank you, man. Gracias. 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 Thank you. Thank Salud. you. Gracias. You guys did really good. good. Right on the money with the alcohol. Hey, what's the name of this shot? Panty dropper. Pa panty dropper? Panty dropper. Hold on, hold on. Perfect. Hold and on. if you didn't bring panties? <laughs> Just drop them. <laughs> <laughs> drop your panties. Nah, this. Hey, it's so sweet, huh? Yeah. It's yeah, good. Nah, this, this bar here, Kanye Rum Bar, is pretty like, it's low pro. So you come in like in this part here, you can smoke cigars Fuck inside, yeah. nothing but reggaeton. Bro, I, I felt like a, it's a rum bar. I, I felt we were honestly, bro. We're I thought we tonight. were. I'm, I'm pretty sad right now. I thought we were gonna be a part of the men in black. <laughs> because as soon as I opened the door and I just saw that guy in the front with the newspaper, <laughs> we're, we're like, uh, we're here. You already know. Go down to the right, and everything's like, oh damn, I think we're already gonna be men in black. We're gonna be signed up. It's so low key, you know. It's so low key to get in here. It's like uh, here you can smoke cigars, and inside like the DJ plays out there, cumbia, reggaeton, and then oh. it's a rum bar. So does it crack here? Like people machine dance, machine? people dance, right? It cracks. What yeah. day? Today's Saturday. Today's Friday and Saturday. Shit. Oh, but people that come and drink here, they actually take like dancing classes no 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 like to, no come, no I'm, I'm like well, obviously, obviously, you, obviously you come I, and so chill but sheet bar, like professional people do come here right and they would be like oh. some of them like, i think like on wednesday tuesday wednesday they've been doing like some classes mm -hmm. but like friday saturdays it's ratchet like. this look oh, like a just ratchet. what is oh, it like okay. is this a stage or no just kicking spot they have a fireplace behind okay. behind there right oh, there oh, i'm gonna come back i'm gonna bring my side chick sister oh, tonight <laughs> well tonight it is no fuck it let's just stay here at this point all right she must have said something hey we're here we're we pre-gaming right now but hasta cuando hablan and that's it. what time does it open <laughs> it opens at night eight eight Oh, yeah, we could go to a restaurant and hang out. Hey, with we could go to Fleming's real quick, no? Eat a steak and then come back. I don't know. Five hours from now. I don't know. So why not? All right, last question before we... It's, it's been a... recording already? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, cut out, I'll cut out some parts. Nah, don't worry about nah, it. Nah, it was cool. We didn't, we didn't say anything. All right. What has been... <laughs> what has been your I've made a moment? If you had it yet, if not, what would it be? Uh, Philo, you want to... Answer this? I don't know. I think I have uh, too many traumas, and like uh, when I was a kid, oh, like, like we came from shit, nothing. So I don't think I'm capable of actually seeing anything like that. You know, I'm just gonna play. You know, I don't think I'm capable of like saying, "Oh shit, I've made it." Oh, you're famous, or you did this. I don't. I have too much traumas when we were kids. You know, growing up like shit. You know, so I don't think I'm capable of of of, of seeing those kind of things. You know, I'm just gonna play, and I'm just gonna do. Go back home with my family. Go back with it. my home and family. You know, <laughs> have anxiety on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't think I'm capable of, of seeing those kind of things, you know. I had too much shit in, when I was growing up. I had gone, I went through too much things, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, we too understand. Too much fucked up things, so I don't yeah. think I'm capable of seeing that shit, you know. You have, I don't you think have, I'm ever going to see it. You never took that time to, like, heal from that shit? <clears throat> no, no. No, you wanted to recently, huh? Do you remember you told me yeah, that you were going to... I don't think... Uh, I don't think I'm capable of seeing. Oh shit! This is actually going. You know, I get I go to Walmart and I get. Hey man, let me take a picture. I'm gonna get putting fucking soap in my cart. <laughs> I, I still can't see it. I still can't see it. I'm not. I'm incapable of seeing uh, anything great. You know. What would it be that you'll be proud of yourself moment? What would it take for you to be proud of yourself and like shit? I've done it. Right, like a sellout show. Yeah, so we, we've stadium. done all those things. Already. Yeah, we've sold. Or, or shows what? It, all right. So what do you gotta let go in order for you to feel this way? And that's for the next episode. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode. Just keep it. Just keep in mind, like we're we're a different gen. You know, we we grew up different. We grew up different where, like, uh, our parents weren't at home. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, it's always, it's always when you're talking. When, when I'm talking, huh? 
it's like uh, it, it, it was it was a little bit different when we grew up. You know, our parents weren't home. They had to you know had to work together. Immigrant immigrant families like it's it, it was it was it was harder. You grinded, bro. It was harder. But I mean, I mean, we we have had a lot of moments, and I do and I do see it. You know, bigger things coming. You know, because we work so hard. There's no there's no way that we can't get compensated for all the hard work that we're that we're putting in. You know. Okay. Yeah. I. I see, I, like I see your I see your post and I see how like even on your bio you have like God in there, yeah. Your faith, oh, your yeah. you know what leads you guys into prosperity and yeah. again you've been denied so many times, but yet again you're still here and you're showing yeah, up. Yeah, we're still here. And then guess guess who taught me that? Goku did, because <laughs> he was beat down so many times and he still got up, brother. You know, and it's great. And it comes down to that. You know, uh, our, yeah. our biggest phrase on our Instagram is blessed by God, powered, powered by, by Correos. Correos. You know, and, and, it's, and if, it's always been like that. There's so many situations that that have happened, man, that yeah. have happened to us. Like this one time, fuimos a tocar a una boda. We went to go play at a wedding in Nayarit. And um, everybody else crossed through the CBS thing faster. But me and Philo, we couldn't. We had to cross to the, through the line, right? We had to cross through the line. <clears throat> yeah, and the passport issues. Yeah, so, so the crazy part was that uh, some dude needed, needed like a very important medicine to get sent out to, to TJ from Nayarin. It was like this older gentleman. He was like nearly crying because of, uh, I think it was like a niece, right? Or a, or a, or a, a young, it was a young girl. Yeah, yeah. And the only one that could give her that medicine was us because they were not going to be in the TJ airport. They were just going to cross through CBX. Yeah. So I overheard and I said, no, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. And yeah, we took the medicine. When we crossed over, the, the, the girl's parents were right there and we gave her the medicine. It was like a really important medicine and we took wow. her. So it's like, it's crazy how, how we couldn't, um, go through the CBX, wow. but we were never meant to go through the CBX, you know. So that's why we always say, you know, blessed by God, powered by Gorillas, because oh, crazy stuff like that happens to us all, all the time, all the time. Yeah, you guys are one of one. Yeah, yeah, we are one <laughs> of one. But it, the, you know what's the sad part about being uh, one of one is that sometimes we probably won't get recognized in life, you know, because all the all the biggest legendary musicians they never knew that. They were that when they were alive, you know, a lot of these, a lot of the, the legendary ones, you know, and it's, it's hard because a lot of legendary ones passed away thinking they were failures. And then later on, they became legends. They became legends. They so, get their flowers when they're gone. So we, yeah. So we, Sucks. we were full of failures, brother, full of failures, you know, yeah. we're full of people, not, not the general public, but people in the industry not believing in us. We're full of that, yeah. you know? So the crazy part is that. I believe and I see this vision where we're, we're a forever thing, you know. Yeah. It's so crazy because the way you're explaining it, the way you guys are, I feel the same way about us. We've showed up, we've showed out, and we showed countless of times how good we are, yet some people still want to close the door on us. And yeah. it's like, it's okay, don't worry about it because yeah, I'm still coming and yeah. I'm still showing up. Yeah. But when my time it comes, don't come now when, when everything is up, you know what I mean? Like, I remember all the – you closing the door and I – not lending your hand, it's cool. Yeah. No hard feelings. You have whatever reason you have, but that doesn't stop us from moving the way we're moving. Oh, yeah. Because, again, like, shit, I don't need everybody to believe in us the way we do. Right. You know, you don't need the other promoter, the other banda, the other whatever to believe in you guys the way you do because no one knew what you guys went through the last 12 years together. Right. <clears> and it's like, it's okay. Yeah, and, and a lot of groups do get upset because the way that we promote each other promote ourselves mainly you know we're really big believers in uh it's unique manifesting bro. you know Fuck yeah. the way we, the way we get on stage and we talk about ourselves N note this we don't talk bad about other people in the industry we just think really highly of ourselves yeah. you know and there's nothing wrong with that there's Fuck nothing bro. wrong with saying that you're the best yeah. in the i hope you with i hope you think of yourself the way i think about, about myself yeah you know, exactly yeah so you know we get I mean? we, we get filled with that all the time other musicians like oh so es way se creen y eso. no because because at the end of the day if, if me and that other artist were walking down the street and they'll ask for a picture i'll be the one that gladly take the picture and they'll yeah. be the one that that yeah. walks away you Cause know because you, you've You've been through it. Yeah, and and we just we just that's the way that we sell ourselves. I I love yeah. to sell the our image and I love to sell our group. I love I love to be on stage and be like, 
we're the freaking best. We're 100% original, straight out of Compton. I love to say all that stuff, but there's some people that, there's some groups that are behind stage. There's some, there's some people that are other groups that listen and they think that we're bashing them, but no, dude, we're just, we're, I'm, I'm selling our product. We're pumping know? ourselves up. Yeah, we're pumping ourselves up. You know, we, yeah. we do this countless times over and over. We're, we're, we just love, we love ourselves so much, you know? And a lot of the negative negativity that comes is from people that don't love themselves, you know? Nice. You know, they don't love themselves. We, we love ourselves. <laughs> I, I love myself. I love yeah. my group. I love everybody in the group. You know, we've been together for yeah. 12 years. Hell yeah, I love everybody. I think, about, yeah. I think about everybody in the group every day. The reason why I push hard is I do have a lot on my shoulders. I, shoulders. I carry a lot on my shoulders, but I love everybody. And I love, and I love to feel the weight that I feel on my shoulders every day. You know, I think it's me that's supposed to carry the weight, yeah. you know, and, and that's what the way it has to be, you know, yeah. and, and I love it. And I love it. But... When when best believe when I get on stage I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a say it yeah hell yeah I am the fucking best in L A you know Los Desvelados are the best group in L A you know and I'm a say it and and if other groups get on stage and say it I applaud them because they they believe it I too, hope you feel you know? that way too I hope you feel that way too yeah you fuck know? yeah but hell yeah yeah, yeah that's how that's how we feel now nah, you guys are doing I think that's it. a cool point. <laughs> Nah, you guys are doing it. You guys are fucking being about it. You're about your business, about your movement, about your music, about your group. And no están, no están decepcionando a nadie. No. You know what I'm saying? Especially yourselves. You guys love yourself, love your movement, love what you're doing. Who can hate on someone that's loving themselves like that? Um, only someone that's unhappy. Only someone that's unhappy. And that's cool. Hey, I hope one day you reach where we're at right now. Exactly. Yeah. It took us forever to get here, but I'm glad we're here. Because it's uh, it's easy to uh, it's easy it's easier to lift the group than to lift the than lift the movement. You know, and I believe mm -hmm. that's what that's what we're doing. Dang. Like nowadays, people can't go to the hood because something reminds them of us. You know, we get tagged on all these things. You know. Like, hey, bro, look, I went over here and I thought about you guys. You know, I went, I, I saw a donut over here in this other neighborhood, and man, it's you guys. You know, so it's it's definitely really hard to lift the movement, and and, and especially what we did with something really rebellious. Crazy. Crazy, you know, we did it, but we did it so people can remember that music is rebellious. You know, we are we are a rebellious movement. We took a chance, we took an opportunity. and Yeah, and in our music, too, and in our lyrics, because... We could have easily sang other music that other people were singing and, you know, get gigs and continue. But we just took that that really hard step to, hey, let's just do something different. We always <laughs> say you set the foundation and you let it sink in and it's unbreakable. You yeah, know, when you set yeah. something with no foundation or nothing, nothing that's stable. Yeah. When something comes that's trying to break it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It I mean, we're on stage and you see these people like singing the songs with their yeah. lungs out because they feel it. Yeah. Especially it's the different. begin the beginning of that corrido. Oh, so, so, brother, there was no bigger feeling than to being on top of a donut. <laughs> having 30 cop cars around you, having the helicopter around you, and just singing that song. Siento presidio de la policía. And then when it kicks in. You know, yeah, man. at the end of the day, whatever happens to those velados, whatever happens to our music... When we were breathing, when we were alive, we did out there and we got stuff done. We did shit done. We did things that no one has ever done, you know? And and that's that's it. We just we just left it there, you know? We we yeah. left it there and we're leaving it there, you know? And and y mientras Dios nos preste vida, we're gonna we're gonna keep on doing it, you know. So maybe maybe not now, but maybe in 20, 30 years, you know, there's a little museum with my golden guns and my calzones somewhere, you know. And it's like that was a badass motherfucker right there. Look, that's Fido's glasses right there. That was a badass motherfucker. I wish I. It's crazy because when I do see legendary people and I and I, I happen to step on a museum, you just wish you were alive to see these people yeah. and people that died at a very young age, you know. And yeah. you're like. Man, I wish, we I, wish I was there to see how yeah. legendary this person was. Uh, yeah. So in, in that point, I just want to tell you guys that currently we are alive. Buy your tickets. <laughs> Go see us. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a badass show. It's Black a badass show. Black Papel <laughs> Tour starts Friday, March 15th. You got to buy your tickets. See us while we're alive. It's a live podcast, baby. Shout out to the Desvelados, the best group Thank in you, LA. Man. Let's go. Thank you. En vivo desde el Toast to Life podcast. Porque esta tarde siendo presidio de la policía. Yeah.